and welcome welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be my long awaited humongous empties video collecting them over the last couple of months um some of them i ended up accidentally throwing in the recycling bin as i went i'm filming this the day before i'm going to uni so i head off to uni tomorrow so anyway i'm just gonna go through these quite randomly i'm honestly just gonna go with what i put my hand on first a lot of this is shower products mainly because i was trying to use up the excess amount of products that i still had um in my collection or backup drawer before I went to uni so I wasn't taking as much I mean I've still got a huge bag for toiletries and makeup but it's fine you know we're okay with that okay first off starting with the things that I literally just finished today so first things first I have my benefit precisely my brow pencil this is all gone and um, this actually lasted me longer than I expected for such a small um look if I roll it up it can't go any further um such a small pencil this actually lasted longer than i anticipated it lasting really really enjoyed this absolutely love this product and would definitely repurchase however i am curious to try more drugstore options because this is quite an expensive pencil i think i paid 25 pound for one eyebrow pencil i've also finished my revlon photo ready candid concealer i have my new shade 022 which is sand stable uh Sable, love this, already repurchased it. And I also purchased the Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Concealer as well, because I've never tried that one, but it's meant to be really Since good. Since I just mentioned the Lush products, I can see two wrappers here. So I'm just gonna run through these. So I used up a Lush Butterball. This was a really nice, like moisturizing, quite um, subtle scented bath bomb. Really, really love this. Would definitely repurchase it. And it's one of the cheaper bath bomb options from Lush, but it is also smaller in size. And then this one was the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb, which is also a lovely one. I've had this one on multiple occasions and I really, really like this bath bomb. So yeah, and I have, again, I repurchased this one quite a lot. I also used up the Experimenter uh, Bubble Bar as well. So I've used a lot of shower gels up in the past couple of months. First things first being the Palm Olive Naturals Milk and Honey Shower Cream. Love this. I actually have a smaller bottle of this for uni. Um, this one is the 750 milliliter one with a pump. I find the pump so useful. Um, so I'm kind of regretting that I didn't get this huge one for uni as well because this pump is so good. I have two of my Right Guard 48 hour um invisible antiperspirant found a few more makeup products i have my carmex um which i finished off i absolutely dug in there i really like carmex one of my uh, my favorite lip balm actually also my mac mineralized skin finish in medium deep which i used as a bronzer finish this one up you guys would have saw this a while ago now that's how long i've been holding on to this i think you would have saw this a month ago in my project pan update oh yeah here's the comforter bubble bar that I mentioned earlier which I'm pretty sure I called it the experimenter but it was the um comforter bubble bar so I've used up another makeup sponge this is a boo uh b by Superdrug makeup sponge uh, it's caked up uh just yeah these ones don't last very long though they probably last me around a month or two um and then you can't really wash them they don't wash out very well these ones because they're quite dense I used up a foundation my Revlon photo ready candid foundation you guys know I adore this foundation already gone through a whole one of these this year so it's insane that this is my second one i wear the shade 120 buff camos just adore the natural finish of this foundation i haven't actually repurchased it but i do plan to also finished up my maybelline fit me concealer you guys saw this in my project pan as well so i'm not going to talk about this for too long do really really like this concealer and i was tempted to repurchase couple more things that you guys would have seen in other videos or project pans that i finished off is my trifle cosmetics lip and cheek jam i finished this one off in my partners in cream project pan um quite a while ago now as well i think last month also finished off my collection velvet kiss this is the moisturizing lip cream you guys will have seen this again in my partners in cream project pan so i'm not going to talk about this one too much didn't end up loving the color as much um towards the end of using this i thought it was just a little bit too pale for me especially all over the lips um but i do really love this formula and this product another one you would have seen is my little brown academy of color eyeliner um, again, not going to talk about this one too much. The 17 Safe Out lipstick, you guys again would have seen. This is in the shade Just a Fling. Loved this as a cream blush. Phenomenal. Not my favourite lip colour shade, but phenomenal cream blush. I have a couple more things here. I have my Rev uh, Revolution Brow Pomade in medium brown. This is a little light for me now. And not only that, it is so hard in there. I've tried rejuvenating it with eye drops, with saline solution, and it's just not working. So 
um yeah sadly i have to declutter this i don't use brow pomades anyway so i'm not really too stressed and i'm not going to repurchase a brow pomade after this one i also finished off my pixie by petra brow gel which looks so grim i'm so sorry um literally i took out the stopper from this brow gel and instant regrets don't take the stopper out of your brow gel kids because it's lumpy brow haired and disgusting so don't do that revolution uh base fix makes up makeup fix. what was that <laughs> my revolution base fix makeup fixing spray um i really liked this i liked it for when my skin was looking a little bit too powdery for my liking literally none of it left i feel like i went through it quite quickly spoiler for my upcoming project pan update video is that i finished my rimmel stay matte powder a little bit crumbled off and then i finished off the rest so yeah i I'm not a lover of powder, uh, pressed powdered, however, pressed powders, but I did find that the hotter the weather got, the more I enjoyed this powder because I found that I just had to set once and I was done for the day. I am disposing, disposing of these Enchanted, of these Isla or London Enchanted Lashes. I've worn them about seven times. Use this Holla and Glow Looking Beautiful Coconut Oil Enriched Bum Mask. Don't ask me, me and my sister both brought one when we saw it. We're just curious to see. Didn't really notice a effect on my bum once I'd used it um but it was kind of fun and interesting to do I missed out another makeup product the Bare Minerals Good Hydrations Silky Face Primer again I used this up on my project pan so I'm not going to talk about it too much didn't end up loving this in the end and I also think it was breaking me out at one point as well quite old in my collection but I did enjoy it when I first got it so if I just used it when I first got it I would have really really loved this product and I would definitely consider repurchasing it. I finished off another hand cream this one is the Body Shop British Rose hand cream really really love the Body Shop hand creams um, and I'm someone who does not like hand creams but I feel like I've had two hand creams and empties videos this year so far so that is so that's impressive for me. I've also used up these Heiko San Extra eye drops if you guys didn't know i suffer from well you guys probably don't know this but i suffer from natural dry eye um, which makes it really awkward for me to wear contact lenses and also sometimes when i wake up my eyes are just really really sore and achy because they're so dry um so this is a thicker formulated one um which is to keep your eyes nourished for longer I used up a lip care, another lip care product. This is the Primark Lip Scrub, the Vanilla and Jehovah Oil one. Really, really love these lip scrubs from Primark. I think they're a little bit underrated. I haven't really heard people talk about them. They're really nice and like quite, they're quite intense lip scrubs and I would definitely recommend putting a proper lip balm on, not the Primark. I would recommend putting like a deeper nourishment product on after you use these, not the Primark lip balm that they kind of pair these up with. Some skincare products that I have finished is the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Charcoal Carbon Anti Blackhead Peel Off Face Mask. This is what this one looks like. Wouldn't really recommend this, not as effective as a nose pore strip. I'm not even sure, it, well, I know nose pore strips aren't really good for you, but I didn't really feel like this did as much as like a sheet mask or anything like that for me, so. Yeah. Also finished off the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Intense Spots and Blackheads Daily Exfoliating Scrub. You guys know I use one of these up every one, two months. Um, just really, really love this scrub. I have one body lotion in here and that's the Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Viva La Body Souffle. Um, really enjoyed this. Um, you guys said to cut this open that there might be more product in there, but honestly... I'm about to leave for uni. I'm not interested in cutting this open, unfortunately. Two shower gels that I've also used up. I used up the Body Shop Strawberry Shower Gel um, little mini. I used this up in when I was in Cornwall with my boyfriend. Um, I used this up on our little five day getaway and it was really, really nice. I actually really enjoyed this. I like the shower gel quite a lot. I love the scent. The strawberry fragrance from the Body Shop is one of my favorites. And one that I did not enjoy near enough <laughs> did not enjoy it at all was the fruity by superdrug strawberry and raspberry shower gel did not like this um this again was one of those things where i was just trying to use up things that were either gifted to me uh, that were in like drawers i knew i didn't want to take to uni but i didn't want to wait until they weren't going to work this left my skin feeling sticky and dry um which was really odd because my boyfriend also used some of this in the shower and it didn't leave his skin dry at all but for my skin it really dried out and just didn't make it feel very nice at all so 
I definitely will not be trying another one of these super drug ones. I also have used up three body scrubs in the past couple of months or months or so. Um, first things first, one of my favourites, which I absolutely love, is the Dove Exfoliating body, uh, body Scrub. This is the Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter Scent. Scented one. Oh my god, I love this. You get so much product in here. It's reasonably priced. It's a phenomenal scrub. Just adore it. Miss it a lot, actually, in the shower because I haven't been using a body scrub recently. Also, on my trip with my boyfriend, I used up the Body Shop Coconut Body Scrub. Really, really love this. Super moisturising, but also a good amount of exfoliant in here. Really, really loved it as well. Also, I um, used up this little mini Sanctuary Spa Body Scrub. I used this at my boyfriend's house when I stayed there for a week. Um, loved this as well. I thought this was really, really good. Love Sanctuary Spa Body Products. Honestly, it's an addiction of mine. Okay, it's quite a few hours later. I didn't get to finish filming because my brother came home. My mum's partner slash my stepdad came um because we're taking his van we're uh, to uni tomorrow um, and we loaded up today um just to save stress tomorrow morning but the only section i have left to talk about is hair so let's just get that out of the way so somehow i lost the shampoo bottle but i did use up the shampoo and conditioner of my favorite which is the l'oreal el vive extraordinary clay rebalancing conditioner this one is just perfect for my hair this is one that i'm also taking to uni along with um bozine shampoo this is the medicated shampoo absolutely phenomenal for anyone who struggles with dandruff would highly recommend this or even my boyfriend does really well with this because he gets um, pimples in his hairline when he uses other things um but yeah just so good and it really does work from the first use this uh albert balsam juicy green apple shampoo and this herbal essences ignite my color conditioner Honestly, in our house, we haven't really done like a toiletry shop because we have so many like odds and ends, like toiletry wise, that we didn't want to do a toiletry uh, shop because everyone's like kind of using up the odds, odd bits that we had. So like, for example, like just the Albert Balsam shampoo. This used to be the shampoo that I used to use, um, but I found my hair got greasy really, really quickly. And I would say from using this again, it definitely did just get greasy really, really quickly again. However, this um, Herbal Essences conditioner it's really really nice it's quite a deep nourishment and i actually like this one uh going in with my bozine like after my bozine this condition is really good because it's quite a deep one it makes your hair super super soft and then another thing that i finished in a project pan is this mystic black novix hair mask not my favorite not the worst i just don't really reuse really hair masks but i do have one that i'm taking to uni that hopefully i'll get to use a lot more oh but it does smell so good my chinese food is here Sorry that those last five items were really, really quick to go through. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Well, that's see more videos from me and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.